I was raised Catholic, and this is where I came upon one of my earliest heroes. The first career I dreamed of having, I wanted to be a priest. <laughs> I was seven. I made hosts out of Wonder Bread and gave, <laughs> I gave Holy Communion to my stuffed animals. Both my mother and my grandmother explained that one had to be called to the priesthood, and as far as I knew, no one was calling. And then for the first but not the last time, I heard the discouraging words, men only, no girls allowed. A few years later, it was time for confirmation. If I couldn't be a priest, the idea of being a soldier of Christ sounded pretty good to my 10-year-old ears. But choosing a confirmation name turned out to be a little difficult. Not all saints were open to me because I had to pick a girl saint. So I said to Sister Mary Edward, <laughs> I like my name, Anne. Yes, it's a nice name, and she's already with you. Anne, the mother of Mary, the grandmother of Jesus. <laughs> I never thought of Jesus having a grandmother. Sorry. <laughs> well then, let's find a good name for you. A saint who will stand with you in times of spiritual need. Anne was indeed the mother of Mary. A woman who figured out how to conceive her daughter immaculately. That is, without, you know. You know. <laughs> I liked the name Catherine, but so many of the girls in my class were choosing Catherine, and there were so many Catherines. There was Catherine of Alexandria, Catherine of Genoa, Palma of Siena. Teresa was also a popular name, as was Margaret. I thought for a moment about taking my mom's confirmation name, Bernadette, but then I found her, Joan of Arc, an illiterate woman who heard voices and dressed in men's clothing. <laughs> Joan of Arc, alone and unmarried, she defied the rules of medieval society by leaving her father's house. She stayed on her difficult path, and she fought bravely for what she believed. Now the flames, they follow Joan of Arc. She came right. Thank you. 
I saw her wins, I saw her cry, I saw the glory in her eye, myself, I long for love and light, but must it come so cruel, must it be so bright? <laughs> Thank you all.